the principles of individual responsibility, yeah. ingenuity, yeah. innovation, yeah. integrity, yeah. entrepreneurship, yeah. self-determination, yeah. and generosity. Generosity because you want to lift your neighbor, not because you're told you must. Yeah. I'm talking about the quintessentially American ideal that you can become whatever you want to be without fear of the government telling you no. Yeah. Right now, we see a breakdown in those ideals. We see the increasing codependency of big government and big business. We see the erosion of truly free enterprise. We feel the loss of our individual freedoms and we watch as our government spends our money with reckless disregard for our children's future. And all across this nation, average, hardworking Americans like us are feeling frustrated, exhausted, powerless, angry. It isn't something new, ladies and gentlemen. It's why a man who ran on the platform of change was able to rise to the highest office in the land. Because people do want change, but not this kind. People want more freedom, not less. We want to be able to make decisions for ourselves and our families without having government bureaucrats do it for us. Yeah. We want to know that our hard work is worthwhile and not just subsidizing the reckless and the irresponsible. Yeah. And we want to believe that a brighter future is possible through our own initiative without being at the mercy of government's generosity. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, in an oft-forgotten phrase of an oft-forgotten document called the Constitution of the United States, our founding fathers once foreshadowed for us a danger that could someday plague this republic. They wrote that the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, shall be reserved to the states or to the people. People, ladies and gentlemen, people like us. And this group of people right now, in the words of the late William F. Buckley, stands athwart history yelling, stop, stop mortgaging our future, stop taxing our initiative. Stop pretending that the Constitution is merely an artifact of the past rather than the law of the land. And one last thing to our elected officials who are charged with serving the people. Start remembering that this is the greatest nation in the world and we didn't get that way by imitating our Western European allies overseas. Yeah! We got that way by breaking from them. Yeah! And by empowering individuals with the liberty to chart their own course in this life. Yeah! And so tonight, we renew that commitment to ensure that we the people we, the people, and no one else, remain the masters of our own destiny. Thank you.